Well, hello again. Glad we get to be together and open God's Word. We're going to be finishing out uh, Hosea, and this is the chap- chapter 14, verses 8 and 9. You know, I, I really, uh, you know, we've been talking about the, the reality of um, God's judgment against sin and people who are rejecting God and are turning to idols and uh, worshiping other things other than the one true living God. I, and I, Idols are a very real thing, and they're also uh, a very um, abstract thing. In other words, it can be just in our minds or in our lifestyle. We want to worship God, and, and that means that we put Him first in our lives. That's how we worship Him. He wants to be in first position. No, Nothing else comes before Him. Uh, and then uh, the nation Israel was not doing that, and we, we find this to be a consistent pattern, and then God sends prophets to warn them, hey, this is why judgment's coming, because, you know, and but I love these kind of finishing thoughts that we had one yesterday, and we got one today that kind of end up a little bit more on an upbeat thought. Ephraim shall say, what have I to, what have I to do anymore with idols? I have heard and observed him. I am like a green cypress tree. Your fruit, this is God speaking, your fruit is found in me. You see, you know, being fruitful in life, being productive, you know, we could use that term, uh, enjoying uh, life to the fullest and having true satisfaction and fulfillment, your fruit is found in me. Where we find that satisfaction that from is in him. And he says, now, now, now these questions start being posed by God. Who is wise? And then the response would be, let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. So God's ways are ways that you and I want to walk in. That's why we get together and do these devos today. That's why we're wanting to learn God's ways together. And and as we do, we want to walk those out. I think this is so important. It's one thing for me to intellectually grasp a concept or an idea. It's a whole nother thing for it to go into my heart and my being and for me to say, you know what? Not only is that right, I believe that I need to act upon that. So then there's my will gets involved in in being intentional about the pursuit of walking in his ways. This is what they finally come to. Who's wise? Who's prudent? You're going to walk in his ways. You're going to pursue the things of God. Because why? Because that's where the fruit really is. That's where the fruit is. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, long-suffering. You know, and I like at the end of it, it says, and against such there is no law. What does it mean? It says, there's nothing that would hold a charge. These are all good things. You can't hold a charge against good things. These are all righteous, good things. And the fruit comes from his presence in your life. If you are a follower of God, Jesus Christ has taken up residence in your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is living in you now and desires for you to experience that fruit. Man, my prayer for you is that the Spirit would be made evident, that you would walk in the Spirit and enjoy the fruit of the Spirit. God bless you. Have a great day.